Hey, listen, we are just 100 days away from the Olympics this summer in Paris. And so to celebrate this milestone, I sat down with the number two beach volleyball duo in the world. Take a look. And we now welcome in beach volleyball duo Taryn Cloth and Kristen Nuss. Guys, we appreciate you taking the time. How are you? Hello, doing well. Thank you so much for having us. Well, I know you guys are so busy preparing for the summer here, but I got to start with the obvious question, and it's how this duo came to be. So we first started playing together at LSU. That's where we played our collegiate ball. Taryn transferred over after playing indoor volleyball, but at LSU is where we first made our debut together. And then we decided to pursue a professional career together with Paris 2024 being our top goal at the time. What goes into a good partnership? How did you guys know it was a match made in heaven? They do say something about chemistry on the court and I I can speak to chemistry on the court, but I think that that also has to do with the chemistry that we have off the court. We have a really good relationship of uh, best friends. We live together. We do everything together. We travel together. And actually our families get along really well. They, they hang out without us. They go to all the tournaments. They spend a ton of time together. Well, you guys are always training with each other. You guys are good friends. You're living with each other. You can be honest here. Do you ever get sick of each other? <laughs> 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 we definitely we have taken on the there's a sisterhood so there are definitely I think some sisters you you get you bicker a little bit you you definitely need some time apart and that's what we've established over the years that it's okay to spend some time apart um, but yeah the the sister the sisterhood has definitely taken over <laughs> <laughs> you fight like sisters and that's okay we all can relate to that right well when you first two uh, when you guys started off as a duo you were considered the dark horse how do you think your reputation has evolved since then that feels like so long ago <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we, we did come on the scene and we surprised some people, especially we just came from college. So we were just like, who are these college girls that are um, kind of beating people they shouldn't be? But now we are the number two ranked team in the world going into going into the Olympics. But to us, we kind of keep that same underdog mentality every single time we go in. We want to step on the court and think that no one thinks we're going to win. So yeah, we're just taking it step by step. We obviously neither one has been in this position before. So it's kind of fun that we get to experience all the all the first together and we're just keep keep playing it kind of with that underdog mentality, even going into this huge and um, very big tournament coming up. <laughs> very big, <laughs> very big tournament. Yes, I would say so. Uh, you, you mentioned the, the underdog mentality here. You would think from the outside you'd feel the pressure, but what's going through your mind when you hear that? Do you feel the pressure as you approach this big tournament? I feel it uh, as honor that you get to put on USA and you get to walk into the Olympics and you know what those three letters hold and every single time the national anthem plays or I see an American flag, I just get the chills or my eyes start to water, water and I really do. I just I think it is a complete honor that we get to represent this amazing country. You guys are a very unique uh, duo, I would say, because there's nearly a foot difference in height between you two. I don't need to tell you guys <laughs> that. You already know. But, you know, where many people would maybe consider that a disadvantage, how do you guys feel like you use that to your advantage? Yeah, I think um, for me, just being a defender, I'm obviously um, closer just to closer to the ground, <laughs> so a lower center of gravity. So I can maybe it's easier for me to get to balls that are closer to the ground, just wait. It's it's physically closer to the ground i am um and then obviously tearing at the net is just a very dominant force up there we honestly kind of forget the height difference or at least i do until i, I see photos and i realize how much smaller kristen is than i am and it really it blows both of us away not only are you guys a duo but you're really good friends your roommates so we're gonna play a little game if you guys are down are you ready Oh boy, yeah. Okay. And you have to be honest here. Honesty is the best policy. Okay. okay, which one of you is most likely to shrink your bathing suit in the dryer? Oh, probably me. I would say me. <laughs> I haven't done it, but I would say me. <laughs> okay, how about this? Which one of you is most likely to lose a medal or a trophy? Uh oh, what? Your... <laughs> hey, why? I don't know. I think you. Oh, okay. Have, <laughs> have we lost a medal or a trophy yet? No, I have dropped one. 
Oh no. Yep. She dropped one and cracked it right after we won on the way home. Which one of you is most likely to answer a phone call during practice? Me. <laughs> she is always on the phone. All right, and the last one here, which one of you makes the best motivational comments in between points? Oh, yeah, for I think sure. Me. Hype girl. Yes. I love that. Guys, well, I can understand why you guys uh, are competing in the Olympics. It's, it, the chemistry is undeniable there. So Taryn and Kristen, best of luck to you guys. I enjoyed talking with you. Thank awesome. you so much for having us. Thank you.